start again. It's a red skin. Hello everyone, I am Kushal Ajay and this is Ad Programmer. I hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. So, we have reached 1000 subscribers, thanks for all the support. And let's jump right into our GitHub, uh, GitHub uh, utility or hack I would say. And uh, so, let's do that. Go to your GitHub first of all. It will be, you know, it, look, it might look like this as of now. So, what you have to do, you have to create a new repository. Let's click this new repository and name that repository similar to, I mean, your repository name should be your handle name. Whatever your handle is, just name it like that. So you'll see that you have a, uh, discovered a secret of, from GitHub where you have a special repository uh, with your handle name only and you need to initialize the readme as well as to, uh, you need to make it public. So it is public and we need to add readme as well, then create this repository. So as of now, there is only hi there over here. So we'll edit it. And these are some sample text that you can use, which are commented out. First of all, what we'll do, we'll remove this, or we'll remove it later, no issues, because we'll use this emoticon. First of all, let's add the heading uh, and align it in center as well. So it is, pro, you know, similar to HTML only, and because Markdown supports HTML, hi there. I am Kushal Vijay. And let's copy this emoticon. Let's close the H1 tag. Fine. Now, what we are going to do is we need to add a few details about us, uh, you know, about you only. So, currently, I'm working with a startup which is called fandom stack so i'll add a link to that first of all with href equals to so i'll copy paste that link so this is the link and then i'll write the name of that and i'll also mention target equals to underscore blank which means that whenever anybody will open this link it will open into uh, the new tab okay so the name is phantom stack let's close this anchor tag now i'm currently learning i'm currently let's not write learning let's write you can ask me about anything related to let's bold that thing python django and natural language processing so you can ask me any question uh, uh, in these topics I would love to help you and I'll try my best to answer you uh, then uh, currently I'm learning system design and its application I would love to hear from you guys if you are doing uh, you know similar things I would love to hear your experiences system design and if you have some good resources free of course then do let me know system design and its application Clothes are strong. So it is similar to HTML only. Uh, how to reach me. So I'll mention my LinkedIn ID over here. So it will be a, a anchor tag with href. Uh, I'll copy my LinkedIn URL over here. So I'll copy my LinkedIn URL over here. Here it is. Anchor tag. And I'll also mention the target to be blank. Underscore blank. Then I'll mention my name. Close the tag. Okay. Great. So and one or oh, one thing you can also add that is fun fact. I'll add that I ha I also run a YouTube channel where you are watching this tutorial. That is Savage Programmer. Another href. So that is double dot. You can add anything basically. You know any relevant thing. So this is the link to my channel slash c slash savage programmer. Then we have target equals to underscore blank so that it will open into new tab. Close this, write savage name of that programmer. That's it. So the details are done. Now the important thing we'll be adding like I'll want to add the image of my uh, channel and the statistics. So first of all, I'll create a P 
tag and let's align it into the center and close it as well. Now inside this, what I'll do, I'll have an image. Right now I don't have the image, so I will not, what I'll do, I'll mark a space for that image. And I want that image to be clickable, so I'll add it inside this anchor tag. And after that, the image URL will be here. I'll upload the image later. I'll commit first and then I'll add that. And then we have this uh, statistics. So the, those statistics are from, are actually an image. And the source will be a website which collects statistics based on a particular username. So I'll, you know, uh, mention that link into the description box so you can use that. So this is the link actually where you have to mention the, your username and show icons to you know show the icons of that particular image. If you make it false, it won't show. So you just have to write your username over here. I forgot the, this thing. And um, that's it. Uh, mention the ulterior alternate to be Kushal Vijay only. Sorry for that. And that's it. Close it. Uh, you can also add your other handles like LinkedIn and Twitter over here and uh, let's close that sorry close that tab and then we'll add the the anchor tag and the link to that so we'll add a SVG image of LinkedIn and Twitter icon and uh, I'll mention the link from where I'm taking those SVGs so it will look like somewhat like this only copy this since we are using the so the href would be my LinkedIn URL and here would be the image URL that I'm going to mention uh, one second source so this is the link that I'm talking about where you can find the icons of each uh, you know everything basically so you have LinkedIn Twitter and everything you can find the SVGs over here so I'll use that only you just paste into image source and write LinkedIn SVG and also mention the height and width height equals to 13 width. so these are you know um, I have tested these measurements beforehand so that they fit fine on the page and similarly I have to mention the LinkedIn URL as well I copy pasted my LinkedIn URL I'll copy this complete line for my Twitter handle as well. So let's first of all do Twitter and then I have to mention my Twitter URL. Let's go here, Twitter, copy and just paste it over here. That's it. Let's commit this and see what we got. Okay, this looks good. But these are not in the center and we don't have the image. So let's upload the image as well. I'll upload the image of my channel logo. Okay, sorry. Add file, upload file. I have uploaded it in the image file. It is processing. No, I did the readme again. And uh, first of all, what I'll do, it is not align in the center which is okay spelling of a line was wrong and let's also add some spaces between the two so for space what we use in HTML is this sorry and NBSP and it's just it represents a space character so four spaces and also I'll add some spaces between this these things and here I'll mention the image that is IMG source would be the image that I added I need to go back to that that image this is the URL let's paste it over here in its source it wants to paste it and I've also tested the measurements so height would the best height would be 200 and the width would be 220 that will fit fine Let's close this tab, anchor tag is closed, and I guess this is it. You can comment the changes.
and see how it looks like. I guess this looks great. If you open your uh, GitHub in incognito, you will see the animation as well, how it looks. You see, this looks really nice. So I hope you guys might have learned something from this video. Do share this video with your friends and show them this cool trick. Uh, and do follow Savage Programmer for such amazing content. Stay tuned for the next video. Thank you.